Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A Servicing. So, recently I just got my hands on a seat of 3D Experience, and it's, uh, I gotta say, it's been a bit uh, enjoyable. I've been really enjoying the new interface, uh, some of the uh, ways the tools operate, and so on. It's been uh, pretty neat. It is a bit different than V5 in several ways, but for the most part, the way the tool operates, the very intuitive nature of the menus, and that type of thing, hasn't changed. The absolute power of the tree hasn't changed. There's a few differences that you have to take note, but for the most part, it's uh, there's some similarities to V5. So it's not a complete new uh, thing. You're not having to new learn everything new from the very beginning, but um, it is a little different in some of the things that it does do. We no longer have a compass. We have what's called a robot. The compass is up here. This is where you access all of your workbenches and communication and all sorts of stuff. Um, you can also see we have a, a, a ribbon down at the bottom with our various tools and broken down into these tabs. And we also have what's called an action pad and app options. Uh, one thing that I found very interesting straight out is now when I right mouse click out on the screen, there is a menu. Uh, historically, V5 has never had a menu when you right mouse click in the window or the graphics display area without something behind it. Now, if you look, you have a display. So you can turn on and off. There's your tree, the action pad, app options. These, these are those uh, tool sets that I was talking about. You can see there's a redundancy to these tool sets. And this is kind of nice because you may have a tab open to do something specific and you have some of your uh, tools that you go to on your action pad to use over and over again. Um, these can also be docked on separate windows that I found. So if you have two windows, just load up your action pad, set it down on the side somewhere on a separate window and um, you're working away. It's really nice. Um, other things that you can do is you can hide this ribbon down at the bottom so if you just want to work exclusively in uh, the action pad and the app options and every once in a while if you have to go down into the ribbon to dig something up it's there for you as well so but uh, back to the third mouse button we now have some ambiance settings so if I go to something like pure white white mirror okay and um, you know dark mirror so you have a lot of really uh, fast options to change the way you're looking at things. If you're going into a design review or something like that, it's it's really nice. Um, I got to go to st style here and, and you can see I can have different uh, artists rendition. Maybe I want a ballpoint pen. This is kind of neat. So there's a lot of really neat things that they've done. Let me go to style. Let me go back to none. Uh, right mouse click. There's author and content. I can do full screen, full screen for design, and all that's in the third mouse button. You'll see I have my search up here. So this is, again, um, this is looking right into uh, Inovia, so you're always connected. And there's some really good things to say about that. And again, I always have my trepidation about changing the way a workflow is uh, set up and you've been doing something for so long. But I think there's a lot of positives that come with uh, some of the changes. There may be a few things. Maybe it's just I'm not used to it and I have to uh, maybe I need better connectivity because I just don't have the best Internet in the world. But, uh, you know, maybe if I had uh, my uh, PDM system loaded locally, things would operate much quicker. But uh, currently I have a DSL connection and nothing works very quickly for me. So um, I think it's just connectivity is my biggest issue uh, at this point. Um, bottom right corner, there's your show no show. It's kind of neat. Just a little switch right here down in the bottom right corner. Yeah, your robot, you notice it gets big and small depending on what you're doing and where it's at. It operates very similarly to the original Compass in V5. So uh, lots of really great things that I'm going to be talking about where they've moved some of the options and tools and um, how the basic uh, system likes to operate from all of the good things that I've been uh, discovering myself. You can still see it still works quickly. Um, again, the tools are really intuitive. Right, you still have the same very similar workflow. There's some new tools that have been added in as well. I can't wait to show you those. So come along my journey with Learning 3D Experience. And if you have any questions, please feel free to um, ask down below and you'll see me soon.